Hey everybody, what I want to do today is cover elements, source and sinks, filters and plugins, pad templates and pads. Here are three elements on a pipeline. So on the left you have source, which is a camera. In the middle you have filters and there's lots of filters. And on the right is a sink. And in this uh, example, it's a monitor screen. And data flows downstream to the sink. So here's a graphical representation of data going from the source down to the sink and it's going through pads all the way across. You have source pads and you have sink pads. So guys, what we're looking at here is we're creating elements. We have this going to create the source. We're using the element factory dot make function. And there's a sink. And the first param is the plugin. The second parameter is the user defined source name. And the source name and the source variable, they have to match. And then here we have the source and the sync and just assign them accordingly. After we create the source and the sink, then we need to link them up or add them. So we use the pipeline.add and then the first param is source, second param is sync. Another way to add the elements, the source and the sync, is to use the bin add mini function. So here we're going to create a new pipeline using the pipeline.new function and we the, takes one parameter and that is just the name of the pipeline and it's a string in double quotes. This is my custom build out for my pipeline. It's pretty long so but we're using the GST parse launch method. So I'm in my project, I'm going to use the parse launch and demonstrate how it works. This is a pre-built uh, pipeline description that I got off the GStreamer website and for demo purposes I'm going to run it for you. So to get out of there, just hit your control C key and exit your terminal and you're all set. So pad templates and pads. These are very important to know. So pads, most of the time they're invisible because the framework handles them automatically. Pads allow information to enter and leave and they specify what kind of information can travel through the pads. The actual information tra traveling from pad to pad must have only one well-specified type. So they have to communicate or negotiate the source and the link, the sync, the source. They, ha they have to link up and they have to communicate and say, hey, I accept what your capabilities are. If their capabilities are not working, then they're not gonna, it's not going to work. So what they're showing is a buffer of data going to the right down to the sync. And uh, you have a source pad on the left, a sync pad on the right, and it's all on a thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to use this tool, GST. GST stands for uh, GStreamer, by the way. And the GStreamer GST is built on top of the... Uh, G object and the G lib, just FYI. So inspect dash one dot zero, and then let's see what do we want to inspect. Let's just do the video test and the SRC. So 
what I'm doing is I'm typing in a plugin. This is a, a source plugin. You can find these online at the GStreamer website. And you know that this is a source because at the end of this, you have SRC. And the tool inspect is going to go in there and it's going to open it up. And you're, it's going to open what they call the pad template, where all the information um, is communicated. So if I open this up, and here we have, uh, you've got the factory details up on top, and then you have plugin details. So the plugin details, what we're talking about is the video test RC. And you can go in and read down through this stuff. So when you're using the anything, whether it's a source, whether it's a sync, whether it's a plugin, just use the inspect tool and you can inspect uh, information. So here's your pad template. This is really important. And so this is the signifier for it, so SRC. And then we have the, inva the availability of this is, is always. And then you can see underneath here the caps or the capabilities. So one of them is video raw and it's X dash raw, which is very common. And these are all the formats underneath, enormous amount of formats. And then again, you just come down here and you look and um, here's the video forward slash X bear. And this is very important too. So this element has no clocking capabilities and this element has no URI handling capabilities. So if you're looking for those, you go into the pad templates and then you can discover whether they do or not. And they'll be listed right there. And then we have pads, okay? And under the pads, this is the source pad. Remember, we have, we have source pads and then we have sync pads where they communicate. So, and then under here we have element properties for the source pad. And then if you just go through this, it's got all kinds of different properties that are listed out. That is pretty much the end of this lesson here. I hope you learned something in this lesson plan, this tutorial. And so from here on out, just, uh, get in there and uh, build your pipelines. It'll be hit or miss depending on what you're building. So good luck with your pipeline, man. All right, I'll see you in the next video.